know why I'm nervous. This is fine. It's just heat. <coughs> oh gosh. The chilies are really hot. Like, all over my mouth. I'm Beryl. I produce a series called Around the World, where I take one topic and I look at its iterations around the world. This week, I'm looking at spice. When I think about spicy food, I immediately think about China and its amazing spicy cuisine, which we did a story on. Or I think about the US. <coughs> with people choking through ghost pepper challenges because here, eating spicy food can sometimes be more of a competitive sport than an enjoyable experience. But in other parts of the world, spice is flavor. It's just as important as, say, sweet or salty. So I spoke to seven people in seven countries to see the different ways spice gets eaten around the world. This is the spice episode. In making this episode, I decided two things. One, I am not looking for spice superlatives, so no spiciest on the planet, you can't make it through this dish attitude. And two, I'm looking at cuisines where spice is a part of the culinary identity. So let's begin. Before we start, I'm gonna say this. I do like spice, but I'm also kind of a wimp. So what am I gonna do? I am going to be testing out different methods that claim to help ease the burn of spice as we go country to country. I'm not gonna do milk or ice cream though. I feel like they have been done. I'm trying things that are a little bit more off the beaten path. Okay, here we go. When you're cooking with Cajun spices, there is a lot of cayenne pepper in it. Yeah. In Jamaica, we use gotch bonnet peppers. That's a very key ingredient. It is very good pima. I can just have. I can't pick that. Most people would put in a little bird chili or even a large red chili. It definitely makes food a lot better in terms of taste in Malaysia. Being an Indian, spice does make every single food better. The right amount of spices actually bring in joy in your taste buds. Dried red peppers are commonly used in Korean cooking. They're called gojujaru, and the paste form, which you see a lot, is called gojujang. So the first method that I'm gonna try is sugar. The Scoville scale measures the spiciness of a chili pepper, and the guy who invented it figured out how much sugar is needed to offset the spice of the pepper. The spicier the pepper, the more sugar you need. So I have a spicy Korean stew, and I have just plain sugar. Definitely got spice to it. Ooh. Sugar. That's bizarre. Yeah, it works. I can feel the spice on my lips still, but if you're in a bind, the sugar, the sugar works. I'm gonna eat this though. Ah,けうなだらなんて気分いいんだ。ね、チェイルムンコヘスキーみたい。中国へ行くコチュが格好いいんだ。ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ
Indian cuisine is known for its use of red chilies and the Guntur red chili, which is commonly used in this biryani dish, is very famous. Another really common way to help with spice is to have dairy. So yogurt is the next test that I'm doing. I have chicken biryani from India and a green chili to go on the side. So you'll take a bite of the food, have a bite of the chili. Chili's good. Woo, there it is. Oh my God. <coughs> oh shit. Okay. Honestly, it's helping, but the sugar helped more. Oh man, <coughs> we're good. Spice is not pain at all. It is good when you use it in the right amount. My name is Ajay Mantena. I live in Hyderabad, the southern part of India. Spices are very important in our culture and 100% of all our dishes have spice in it. Today we are cooking Hyderabadi Dam Biryani. The spice from Hyderabadi Biryani is from the red chili we use. It is from Guntur and Guntur is the red chili hub for the world. The word biryani comes from a Persian word called biryan, which means fried before cooking. So we make our own red chili, green chili and ginger garlic paste fresh right before the biryani is being cooked. It is very, very important to cook it in layers because every single layer has its own amount of taste. You smell a lot of different spices. You can't stick to one. The flavor keeps changing. To someone who has never tried Hyderabadi chicken dum biryani, it is actually very difficult to explain, but it is more of having firecrackers in your mouth. It changes your mood, it uplifts your mood. Spice does make every single food better, but the right amount of spice is always needed. Cayenne peppers are a big part of Cajun cuisine, and while they are spicy, they're not that spicy. So, I have a Cajun gumbo which I've had to add a lot of Louisiana hot sauce to because I need to test out chocolate. Chocolate is high in fat. Although I know milk chocolate is higher in fat, I only had dark chocolate in my house and it's supposed to help with spice. Mm. The gumbo's great. I was heavy on the hot sauce. <laughs> the flavor of chocolate's really strong, but I don't know, it's not helping all that much. This is one of the weaker contenders. Spice makes food delicious, but it's how you use it. You can overspice something or you can underspice something. You gotta know just the amount of right. My name is Brett Abair. I live in Houston, Texas. Jambalaya is native to South Louisiana. It's something that was a true Cajun dish when you have festivals, when you have family gatherings, when you have birthdays, even at funerals, food is a big thing. You gotta have that spice. Jambalaya is a dish that can feed many people. You can have a pot that'll feed 300 people and it's still very easy to cook. True authentic Cajun food, it's all about flavor. Spice enhances it, but it's not spice is the main ingredient. Like in this jambalaya we're going to cook today, you're going to taste the shrimp, and you're going to taste the crab, and you're going to taste the andouille sausage. It still has the flavor of the cayenne, mm. but it's something you don't want to touch your eyes once you got it on your fingers, because it will burn you up. Spice is something that you use at a very good level, and you got to know it. A true Cajun cook will know how to adjust the spice. Thai cuisine is known for being spicy. It utilizes a lot of Thai chilies, which are these very tiny chilies, and a good rule of thumb, the smaller the chili, the spicier. So, I have a coconut Thai curry, yum. And I'm gonna be trying peanut butter. Peanut butter is super high in fat, and fat is supposed to help break down the spice oils. You feel the spice in the, <clears throat> in the back of your throat. <clears throat> okay. That was exhausting. Okay, it works. It's like a very all-encompassing flavor though, so I've now completely lost the flavor of the coconut curry. My mouth tastes like peanut butter, but it did a good job. It coated my entire throat and mouth, so I'm not tasting anything else anymore.
ความเผ็ดนี้มีความสําคัญกับคนไทยแน่นอนคนไทยไม่น่าจะขาดพริกได้สวัสดีครับชื่อพัทาวุฒิเที่ยงตรงที่ใต้ส่วนมากผมว่าจะสอนลูกหลานกันตั้งแต่เด็กๆเลยนะครับก็แบบว่าให้มีความเคยชินในการกินรสรสจัดวันนี้เราจะมาทําแกงไตปลาครับเป็นอาหารไทยประจําของภาคใต้ครับจะมีส่วนประกอบอื่นๆอีกครับจะมีผักมีน้ำมะขามเปียกปรุงมีน้ำตาลทรายที่ใส่ลงไปแล้วก็มีความเค็มของปรุงปลามันก็จะเผ็ดอยู่แล้วเราก็จะเติมความเผ็ดร้อนด้วยพริกไทยครับกลิ่นจะหอมเครื่องแกงครับรสชาติของมันจะมีความเผ็ดนำเปรี้ยวตามเล็กน้อยประกอบครับมีมีเนื้อปลาเป็นเนื้อปลาทูคนไทยนะครับชอบชอบรับประทานอาหารเผ็ดอยู่แล้วไม่ว่าสมัยไหนนะครับก็จะถ้าไม่มีอาหารจืดบนโต๊ะก็จะมีเป็นน้ำพริกเครื่องจิ้มอยู่บนโต๊ะ Is it spicy? Yep, this one is a spicy. How spicy on a scale of one to ten? Ten is a this one is a gang gang Thai ปลาซาม Malaysian food uses a type of chili called a bird chili, which is around 13 times hotter than jalapeno. Very spicy. So I'm going to be testing out alcohol for this one. Alcohol is supposed to help, but it needs to be a high proof. So I'm using vodka, and I have absolute citron. So this is going to be interesting. Ooh. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Whoa, this one worked pretty well. I mean, vodka is pretty powerful, so, huh? Although now my mouth tastes like vodka. <clears throat> to me, spice is good. I love spicy food. Spices make your cooking a whole lot better. My name is Aubrey. I live in Petaling Jaya, Malaysia. There is very very spicy chili, which is cultivated in in Sarawak. This is a super hot and spicy chili. Those who can take spicy food would find this chili a bit too much to handle. Sarawak laksa obviously represents Malaysia in the map of the world in a sense that it is one of the few traditional or well-known food from Malaysia. It is almost similar to a curry. The ingredients that we use in Sarawak laksa basically shallots, uh, lemongrass, g a l a n g o to have a little bit of spiciness in it. Most people would put in a little bird chili. The first taste that they'll probably receive will be the taste of spiciness, and uh, the combination of herbs and spices. It's uh, going to taste a little bit sour, spicy, soury taste. It's flavorful, spicy, and unique to Malaysia. So Scotch bonnet peppers are a super common chili in Caribbean cooking, and fun fact, they are named after the shape of a Scottish man's hat. Anyway, I have jerk chicken from Jamaica here, and I'm going to be testing out acid, aka a lime, as a way to help with the heat. Mmm, the chicken's good. I'm definitely getting the heat in the back of the tongue. That worked really well. Strong contender for first place. I think spice makes food better. It gives it life. It gives it some spontaneity. It gives it some seeing something that will make you say yes. I'm glad I'm alive. My name is b r i s s n i Blackwood. I am from Kingston, Jamaica, and I will be preparing authentic Jamaican jerk chicken for you guys today. You have to have your flavor with the Scotch bonnet. You have four different colors. You have the yellow, the red, the green, and you also have the purple one. The purple one is the most spiciest one, and it looks very pretty and it looks so amazing. But it's the hottest one, and it will really scorch up your taste buds. This recipe is a combination of the African and the t a i n o heritage that was originally here. And it's just matured over the years to become what it is today. A jerk chicken is a smoked chicken times a hundred. So 
you get all the flavors of the Caribbean coming out, the scotch bonnet, the pimento, the garlic, the onion, and then you'll have the pit of vinegar, then you have that touch of sweetness coming in. That's what jerk chicken tastes like. It doesn't give you that burning sensation. It's a gradual build up. So when you're eating it, it's mild. It will give you, not heat, but flavor. It's very robust. And then once you start to eat it and it gets to the middle of your tongue, and then you start to sweat. And once you start to sweat, you start to feel very heated. And you're just like, oh, okay, I've, I've eaten a scotch bonnet pepper. I'm a little nervous for the last dish. It was just called fish with chilies. It uses scotch bonnet peppers. It's a West African dish. I'm gonna be testing it with honey, just like sugar, but a different consistency. It smells hot. I don't know why I'm nervous. This is fine. It's just heat. It's just heat. My mouth is really burning. Honestly, the flavors are so good. The spice is powerful. That's enough chilies. That's enough. That'll do. <laughs> Maybe it's because these are spicier, you need more sugar. I feel like the sugar granules were more effective than the honey. Oh god. Je m'appelle Maman Angel. Je suis à Kinshasa. Ça rend les, la nourriture meilleure, le piment. J'ai un, un petit jardin pour moi. Il y, y a aussi le piment. Si on n'a pas, j'achète au marché. Je fais les maboukés. Je grille aussi les poissons en entier. On utilise vraiment beaucoup de piment de l'Équateur. Je prends les, les poissons, je les coupe, je les lave, je fais les mélanges avec un peu de tomates, de piment rouge ou vert, du sel, un peu de l'oseille, un peu d'oignon. Je mets dans les, les feuilles, je ferme les feuilles, je mets sur les, les barbecues. C'est tout. Les poissons sans piment, c est, c est, on ne peut pas bien manger ça. Quand on met beaucoup de piment, on mange ça. À les, les Asiatiques utilisent beaucoup de piment que nous, les Africains, mais on, on utilise ça. On s'accompagne tout, presque tout. C'est bon. My takeaway from this project is that, first off, I have a new appreciation for spicy food. I've always liked it, but I don't know. I feel a little different. I think I appreciate it more. Spice is a flavor, for sure, and it's not something that should be conquered, it's something that should be appreciated. It makes your food taste better. It makes people happy. If it doesn't make you that happy, though, I can tell you this. Vodka got rid of the burn fastest. I mean, it makes your whole mouth taste like vodka, but it doesn't taste like spice. <laughs> การทานเผ็ดเป็นสีสันของอาหารนะครับแล้วก็เป็นอัธรสในการรับประทาน Spice is needed. I mean, sometimes when you're eating your food, you want to be awakened with life and you want to be energized. Overall, spice is life. We like our food to be spicy. We enjoy our food to be spicy, which is why India is called the spice hub of the world. There is no life without spice. Food is the ingredient that brings all of us together. Kajo. 들한테 엄마가 해주는 집반찬은 항상 유대감을 형성해 주는 것 같고요. 어, 이 음식이 매워서 맛을 내는 음식이라면 매운 맛이 중요하고요. 그 적절한 방법이 들어간다면 매운 맛과 잘 어울려서 좋은 음식이 될 것입니다. I think I was raised, you know, with all the spicy cookings in my family. Spice, of course, it gives you a little bit of a pain sensation. It's the kind of feeling that some can take, some can't, and I love them. Bah, ça me fait du bien vraiment, mais ça chauffe aussi l'estomac. Et puis je mange beaucoup. Hein. S'il y a du piment, je mange vraiment une grande quantité. C'est bien, c'est bon, ça goûte. Mm. True Cajun food is about flavor. I know it's known around the world where it's real spicy with cayenne and this and that way I drank a lot of iced tea to eat it. But in the South and true Cajun, you want to be able to enjoy it. Once you eat it, you're going to say, whew, man, that was good. 